Hey everyone, Royal Shove here, and this is uh, kind of exciting. It's uh, my basically it's my third day here at Bouvet, and you can see around here. Take a video. This is kind of where I sit. It's the office in Bouvet in Tech One. That's the department I work in, where uh, people who are between projects they come to work in. And here you can see all the books, and we're gonna take a look at these books here in a second. There you can see my machine with the new 27-inch uh, LED, and uh, Simon, can, can you come over for a second? I want to show people just how easy it is to get swag in the way. So you can see, first of all, I got a window. That doesn't happen often. This is, uh, I'm working on a presentation right now for the second look at unit testing after I wrote the first edi edition of the book. And on the first day, I just went to the IT guys and they uh, said, ha, um, I kind of need a um, keyboard and stuff. And they just basically threw this at me, all the new stuff here. And I'm just, I, I, it still smells new. And this is my new Mac Pro. 768 gigs of RAM, I think. And uh, all the new whatever. This, this thing is so cool because it actually has Ethernet connected directly to the screen. And then I just have these two connections here. And that's it. So, so far I'm pretty happy. This is kind of the first thing I was thinking of starting to arrange here like an open space on how to create practices about bootstrapping projects. Uh, I haven't told anyone yet, so you actually know before everyone else. Um, and, and I thought it would be fun to just take a look at this, and that hopefully I'm not disturbing you. No. Okay. You can see he has a big screen too. Okay. He's not watching porn yet. <laughs> so you can see that, well, this is his stuff. I'm just going to put this here for a second. So this is the room where people come between projects. And there are a lot of interesting books, and it's interesting, it's like watching, you know when you cut down a tree and you look at the rings and you know how old the tree is? You can do the same thing by looking at these books and seeing how old the company is and how old the projects have been in this company. For example, doing hard time, developing real-time systems with UML objects, frameworks, and patterns. Now, it's already just hard reading the the title of this book. But that's the kind of thing that happens. This is kind of a Java department. So there are a lot of Java portlet APIs. Ooh, there's a Tom Gill book called Competitive Engineering. Now, I know Tom, Tom Gill is kind of a psycho when it comes to numbers. This might be a very interesting book. Anyway, that might be worth reading. Uh, Anti-Patterns is really good. Patterns of Enterprise Architecture. That's a pretty good book. I highly recommend this book. So far, good work. There's some Ericsson-related material here. I wonder what's, what, what might be there. We might take a look later, if I get permission. Um, C programming language, pretty important, but a lot of crap about that. Um, this is another good book, Agile Estimating and Planning. Oh, and this is a good book, Succeeding with Agile. I have this book. I had this book at home, and I gave it to someone before I moved to Norway. Oh, this is interesting. James Kaplan wrote a book, Organizational Patterns of Agile Software Development. That might be interesting, although it's quite old. But it's always good to read the old stuff to see where do all the ideas we have come from. And where do we stray off and we say and we build on those ideas and go differently. Dynamics of Software Development by Microsoft Press. Haha, <laughs> good joke. And power-based selling, secrets of an Ivy League street fighter. Does anyone have any idea what that book is about? Simon? Yeah, it's really good actually. It's a good sales book. Power-based selling? Yeah. It's like the power-based database? No, it's like finding the power bases within the client's organization and work work with it. It's a, it's a classic actually in sales uh, it's literature. Sales yes. Uh, you see, I used to see there as well. Oh. It's not just geeky stuff. Well, this is pretty geeky, too, I have to say. <laughs> um, Enterprise Service Bus, okay. UML Distilled, and eh. the Culture Code. That looks interesting. What is this? Do you know? Do you know? No. The Culture Code. An ingenious way to understand why people around the world live and buy as they do. You know, there that might be interesting, too. I'm not sure why it re yeah, probably relates to software, too. Uh, software Metrics. Already lost. 
uh, Art of Java Web Development, eh, Enterprise Architecture, Week Patterns. Okay. Oh, and Spring, and a lot of interesting stuff here. Or batteries. Batteries are good. Um, applying UML and Java. A lot of UML stuff here. You can see the Java crowd loves UML. I don't know why. Best software write writing. So, Joel Spolsky. That's a favorite of mine, actually. Joel yeah. Spolsky, really Joel good. Spolsky. Uh, He's a good writer. Yeah, but it, th those are there's a collection of, of small essays. Yeah, he collected from good these writers. from a lot of yeah. blogs. Yeah. Now Joel is a really smart person. I wish he would have run Stack Overflow differently because I'm kind of mad at him. But otherwise, he's a really smart person. So uh, not that I have, not that he would listen to me or anything. Uh, J2E patterns beyond Java. What's beyond Java? Is there anything beyond Java? Is it like on other languages? I think that was uh, who should who should buy it. Uh, Yagi, Java's limitations. Hmm. PHP, etc. Okay, cool. Um, PowerPoint, advanced presentation techniques. It must be mine. <laughs> <laughs> I never opened Let it. Let <laughs> from you this book is. The paint is starting to wear off. It even comes with a disc. By the way, speaking of discs, check out what I found here. Oh, you make us look like dinosaurs. Well, you know, it's Java already, so <laughs> no point in hiding it. Um, let's see. Um, design patterns. Oh. Still, oh, Simon, this is yours. Yes. Did we just stumble into your office or something? Uh, I brought my, a lot of my old books here when I came to Bouvet, actually. I like that. This is Norwegian. What is it? Fortilingens, Fortiling. It's the, the uh, how do you say it? The art of storytelling or the enchantment of that storytelling. How do you say it in Norwegian? Fortilingens, Fortiling. Fortilingens. It's how you use stories in yeah. developing organizations. I'm just gonna try to say that five times fast. <laughs> oh, so you, your Norwegian is getting there. Yeah. It's not a little no Effective Java, no such thing. Practical That's a good book, books. actually. I'm just kidding. You know, you know, I love Java in a way, like a half brother. <laughs> the Practical Manager's Guide to Open Source. Mm. So, hmm. discovering your savings. Uh, read about the Linux success stories of your peers. Discover where open source software will work in your IT. Why don't we have this book for Ruby? Rational unified process made easy. Oh, that's an old one. No such thing. That is an old one. You know, you know what's old? Speaking of Russian unified process, here's what I found here. Look at this. Check it out. This is from a course you guys took. This is from Essential, Essential Unified process. process. Look at this. And this is like this is like the process in the yeah. key cards. This is like eight years old. Yeah, very simple. Eight years old, and I guess that that's when the project first started. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, user interface design for programmers. Is this any good? Oh, Joel Spolsky. Yeah. But you know, the book feels like it was never opened. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, someone should read this book. Uh, applying UML and patterns. Information architecture. Is this any good? I don't know. What's your favorite book here? Applying UML and patterns and anti patterns. I think anti patterns is a really good one. I agree. That's a really good book. Refactoring databases. I like it. Beyond bullet points. I like that. Um, <coughs> good to great. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a really good book. Now, I want to. I actually saved a few books here that I really want to read. I'm literally going to steal and take back home. Excel hacks. Everyone needs to learn how to hack on Excel. Because just to manage my budget here in Norway is a really scary task. Because mostly it's just out, out, out. I need to find a way to organize Excel better. Agile web, web development with Rails, really important. There's some Rails and Python going on here, so that's cool. Uh, how to have a beautiful mind, that looks awesome. It's mostly about thinking, I guess. The dynamics of software development. It, it's, it looks kind of old, it's also Microsoft Press, but I just want to read it just to see what people in Microsoft were thinking. And up the organization, how to stop the corporation from stifling people and strangling, strangling profits. You know, a place that has these kinds of books, it's a place that 
someone is trying to learn something in this place, so I kind of like it. Now, what the hell is that up there? Easter eggs. Real so, Easter eggs. And you know I'm Jewish, right? <laughs> Can you explain the point of Easter eggs? Well, I don't know. It's like an old tradition where we give the candy to pe to the the employees so that they can take back to the kids before Easter. Don't you just why don't you just give the candy, dude? <laughs> well, why do it? Does there have to be a layer of abstraction? It makes them happy. <laughs> anyway, so that's kind. We of hide them in, back in, at home so that the kids have to solve riddles before they can get the candy. Do you think that when they created OpenGL? There was just like a regular Bible, wasn't so good, so they made a super Bible. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen that book. It's the second edition of a super All Bible. Right. Uh, and WAP? WAP? Oh, I think we that should, is no we one. Just, we just replace <laughs> it with WAT. I'm ashamed. You know WAT? W A T? That's when you have no idea what the hell is going Come on. Come on, you're an archaeologist here. Mm, pragmatic, a pragmatic Ajax. Okay, essential SharePoint 2010. We've already lost. <laughs> what else? Oh, to OLAP with analysis services, styling with CSS. And here we made a course. And what else? Anything else interesting here? Oh, disks. What are these disks? Any ideas? I don't know. Okay. It must be leftovers ah, from when I used to live uh, So that's kind of it. Now I have, uh, oh, the confidence to be yourself. Interesting that I find this in a Norwegian company. Mm -hmm. You know, we can always improve. Yep. You <coughs> think you're better than anyone else, right? Well, <laughs> Java port. Okay, I guess when you're working on the Java portlet API, you really want to work on yourself a little bit after that. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, that's kind of the first glimpse. Maybe if I see some more interesting things here, I might take more videos. See you next time, hopefully. Thank you.